So this is going to be a follow-up video to the last one I did on the MIDI Guitar 2 and the new SWAM Woodwinds uh, version 3 library instruments or series instruments. Uh, in the last video I went over parameters uh, relevant for the MIDI Guitar 2 controller to be looked at and I provided some sort of overview for that. Uh, in this particular case I come bearing gifts. I, You should see down below in the video description a link to a folder in, where, in which I have uh, enclosed some MIDI uh, mapping presets. This is our MIDI mapping presets for MIDI Guitar 2 to work within the SWAM instruments. But first of all, uh, the setup as usual, I have uh, on an audio track here, I have the MIDI Guitar 2 software loaded. Usual uh, settings, polyphonic tracking, nothing on uh, noise gate. You're going to use band range 2 for all these presets. Uh, and we have after touch enabled as always. The big difference from before is that uh, we're not going to use the transposer at all, uh, so you don't have to load that one. Uh, other than that, there's nothing new. You see the lines moving here in the MIDI velocity tracker box here, so I'll put that behind me there so you can see stuff moving. Uh, let's go to the first instrument here uh, that's the alto flute if you go in order of appearance. So what I did here is uh, in the MIDI section here you have the presets I showed you this the last time uh, and we chose from uh, either the breath, breath uh, controller preset here or the the seaboard uh, default preset now I've done some presets of of our own so we have uh, the MIDI guitar 2 presets here in, at the bottom there's a way for us to make our own custom uh, presets and I, I will show you how to uh, make them, import them, export them, save them and all that stuff. So this is where you find them. Then when, once imported they will appear in the bottom of this tab. Or so the SWAM instrument uh, has this uh, expression controller requirement that needs to be satisfied by something, by some sort of expression controller. We have uh, the option of after touch here from MIDI guitar or I can also use my breath controller. I've made presets for both of these so you'll get both kinds of presets. So if you have a breath controller you use the presets with the BC name in it uh, and or if you have only the software you'll use these. They look the same. It's called MIDI guitar 2 band range 2. In this case it's an indication of uh, transposed up an octave as well this particular preset but for the breath controller one you have the BC in it also. We'll start without the breath controller. So now I only have after touch coming in from so there's really nothing more to do for you than to actually import these presets into your instruments. And I've also provided a little list on which instruments should have which uh, presets. So if you want to go over some of the, their presets. That's the Banzuri flute and I think that's pretty darn nice. 
and go over to the classic and it gives this stage quality to it. This is more or less uh, all that you have to do to be able to use this. Uh, so let's see what happens if you go to into another instrument. I'll go into the baritone sax here. As you see here, I have four uh, options. This is because the baritone, uh, the range of the baritone sax is greater than what's mappable to the guitar. So I have to have a low section and a higher section. I'll take that one that is, this is not a breath control. So this is going to work just with me playing, yes. This is the lowest note in the baritone sax. transpose down one octave. If I go up one octave, you'll hear In that case, I'll have the note maps mapped all the way to my 23rd fret here, actually. And that's as high as I can get anything out of uh, the MIDI Guitar 2 software anyway. So this is probably the mapping I'll use most for this one since I have the full range of the guitar. Of course, I don't, don't have the last few notes on the bottom end of this instrument. But if I really need those, I'll use the, the other preset for those particular instances. So you've seen how I choose these presets. I'm clicking on the MIDI symbol here and I choose the presets and here are all the presets. There's a way now to import these presets. You're going to get uh, these presets in a folder best place to put this folder is in the documents folder on your computer. For importing uh, presets from the folder, go to the three dots here, <laughs> import, minimapping. It's going to open up the documents folder as I told you. And I have my MIDI mapping for SWAM woodwinds instruments folder. So here you have these two folders. Within those you have five different uh, presets and that would be in this order. It's a double octave down, double oc octave up. You have an octave down, octave up and then the non-transposed one. So you'll have those to use. And I've also provided a, a text file to go with it as to how I have used these with the instruments and th this would be the best way of using them if you want to have uh, the guitar mapped to the instrument in the most useful way. If you want to save your own presets you do that here you go to MIDI uh, mapping table and then you have this little I think it's a floppy disk symbol. Save new preset and then in case you have done anything to the presets and uh, you just give it a name. I'll just uh, give it a name name here. And then I'll save this. If I now go into presets I'll have it down at the bottom here. It's uh, only a copy of the one I'm playing with right now so I'll take that away. I'll delete it for now so 
this is how you save it. You do that in the MIDI controller mapping environment here to export any of those presets. Once again, the three dots and you go to export instead of import, of course. And then you have MIDI mappings here. And if you export this one, you're going to have to give it a new name and then you export it to whatever place you want to. Preferably it's the same folder as you gonna use for all the other ones but that's up to you. Now you have an idea of how to import, export and save these presets. The question now is what do they contain uh, each of these presets? Again go into MIDI, the mapping table. Uh, you have two tabs here you have the external controller mapping and you have the auxiliary parameters here and these uh, gives a quite clear picture of what this uh, mapping uh, contains. Some sort of expression, in, in this case it's aftertouch, so you could play this way. And it also has the, the functionalities that uh, audio modeling already have assigned that I'm not going to mess with, like uh, vibrato depth and vibrato rate and stuff like this. I'll leave this as it is. The only thing I add in this case to all of the presets that I'm in this folder is the overblow that I've assigned to CC4. I've assigned that to my byte sensor to the breath controller. So whenever I bite on this one, this little box will light up red like that. And that goes for all of the instruments since I have the same basic functions for all of the instruments. The only difference are the transposing alternatives, like if it's non-transposed non or if it's an octave up or down. Or Let's take an instrument that's more interesting than like the contrabassoon. I'm going to choose the classical preset of theirs. Their presets are only uh, concerned with sounds really since I'm changing the MIDI mapping presets anyway. So here are two different ranges again. If we listen to the lowest version that is the double octave down first and I'll use the breath controller preset for you. That's lowest notes in this instrument. If I go up one octave, you'll see that I can use uh, the guitar all the way down, but then I won't have access to the lowest notes either. But that's a decision you'll have to make depending on how you're going to use it. This was double octave down, then I'll take the other one that's just one octave down. case I've imported the one that are called double octave down and octave down so I have a special transposing scheme for this particular instrument so I can use as much as of my guitar as possible for this particular instrument and that goes for every instrument in this setup. With regard to what these uh, presets contain we've talked about the external controller mapping here and We've talked about like the expression perhaps, but it's also the information about what curves are used, of course. Uh, so once you set a curve and save a, a MIDI mapping preset, this curve will come along for that preset. I'll show you later uh, some great uses for these curves. You have these auxiliary parameters as well. And here you see uh, the things I talked about in the last video, it was 
Alltså I'll just go with it real quickly. It's legacy, no port, velocity or, or CC doesn't matter. Then for attack control, I use either velocity hard or expression. For breath control, attack sensitivity and stuff like this, you don't need to do anything. This is just an overview of what is going into these presets. So you're, you're not going to change anything here if you don't really think it's necessary. So you have the transpose alternative here and you have the pitch bend also. With regard to the auxiliary parameters, I wouldn't change that much since it's the backbone of these uh, presets. The reasoning behind the names then for the presets. For the other mapping presets, you have a Seaboard default. It doesn't say what goes into this one, uh, but I want to be more uh, explicit or transparent. So I've put as much information in the names as possible. So you see uh, MIDI Guitar 2, that's the software. You see that it's a breath controller. You see that what band range I'm using. And you also see what transposition alternatives I'm using so that you can choose between those. In those cases, you have loaded multiple options like this. For most instruments, it's probably only two options, like one for breath controller preset and the other one for the aftertouch preset. Those would be similar in all respects, but uh, for the expression control. Now, how do you use these? You import these presets from the folder into the respective uh, instruments. And uh, when it comes to stuff like vibrato and stuff like this, you don't need to do anything actually. It goes with me having matched the bands here and having matched the bands with these presets. So once you've opened the MIDI guitar software and put it to band range two and off the touch on, and you shouldn't actually have to go back to the MIDI guitar two software at all, working through these instruments. Download the, the folder, put it in your documents folder on your computer and import the ones that should be used for those particular instruments you have. Uh, to those instruments as I've explained before. If you want to change your preset, you saw how you can do that. It's you go into the MIDI and you go into the mapping table, MIDI, mapping table and do any changes you like. Perhaps you want to change the curve. You can change the curve in any way like this. And then you hit the save button. So you can always recall my uh, presets, choosing them from the list since these are going to be new presets anyway. So you're not destroying my presets or, or overwriting them or something like this. I'm going to show you an example of where it makes a big difference as what curves you're using, for instance. So I'll start with, say, uh, piccolo flute. Now you see, once again, I have no expression controller I go in and I know I've already imported these so I'll have them down here and they are double octave up I won't use the breath controller now so in this case I've used the double octave up since the piccolo range is so small it you have the full range of the instrument mapped out to your guitar so you can play with all the notes but unfortunately, it doesn't cover for all the notes you have on your guitar. So you must know about the limitations to that uh, instrument range when you play it. Now, uh, what I want to show you about the curves here. If you go into uh, the mapping table here, you see that I have off the touch for expression. And the curve it looks like this. If I want a more sustained alternative or emulating a breath controller playing style more. I'll just do like this. You see, the downside would be that you don't have any expression below this point. As compared to when you start the curve at the very bottom here. You hear it die out faster if I change the curve down to what would be like a normal setting. This is pretty high anyway. 
as compared to a standard straight I've actually set most of the off the touch presets to something like this curve. So if you have a guitar with somewhat sensitive pickup or a strong signal in, you probably want to go in and perhaps take down this curve a bit since you don't want the expression to hit the roof all the time. It doesn't give a particularly realistic impression. So there are reasons to go in and change this. That's if you deem it practical to to use a longer sustain, for instance, perhaps the best way to use a legato style without using the legato on the MIDI Guitar 2 software. Increasing this one actually <laughs> tremendous control over the sustain just with these curves. When it comes to say another curve to have a look at I'll show you the tenor sax for instance so here's the tenor sax let's choose a reset <laughs> going to show you how to adjust the sensitivity of the overblowing curve so you see that it reacts it still reacts even if I'm, I've chosen the off the touch for expression alternative it still reacts to my biting on this one so now it works solely as a bite sensor for overblow this breath controller but it's still <laughs> The, the striking of the note on the guitar that actually produces the off the touch that gives the swam instrument the, the expression data. The thing I'm interested in showing here is perhaps the the overblow sensitivity curve. You have it like it looks the same as any other curve. You see, when I'm biting on this one, you'll see the, the little dot moving here. And for some instruments, you perhaps want to be able to bite, but not have the instrument react so quickly to the overblow. Now you see the little dot is all the way up here all the time. I'm perhaps more interested in something like having to bite hard to get that overblow to kick in for real. Otherwise it might happen that I'm, I'm just playing and I have the breath control in my mouth and I actually accidentally bite down on it and get an overblow which course wouldn't matter that much but it's better if I can control it so now it's set to be a lot less sensitive so I'm not gonna accidentally trigger any overblows <laughs> As for all of the information going into any of the MIDI mapping presets, this information can also be stored as an instrument preset. If we go into the preset list here, you can see that it, we have the classical, we have the jazz and this. These are the SWAM instrument presets that the instrument comes with. But if you look at this one, you see that I can cho choose the sound engine parameters. I can choose the external controller mappings, and I can also choose a micro tuning preset along with these instruments. If I name it something else here and will store here under the user part. And in my case here, I think I chose this to save. Yeah, if you look here, this lo-fi sound here, it should be saved with a breath controller preset as well. 
if I go back to these, it, they shouldn't have an external controller mapping within their presets. No, they don't. They're only concerned with the sound ending parameters. So that's good to know. You can choose to actually save your presets with the external controller mappings, i.e. the mappings you have in this folder. You do that here. You have the floppy disk symbol here again. So this is, now you see I have this classical copy that I did right now. I can change it, but I wanna, I don't want it, so I'll delete it right away. As I told you before, I was really meaning to do this uh, with the band range 12 as well, but I felt it would be too much information once again. So I opted for the simpler version. So you only have a band range 2 uh, MIDI preset folder right now. This also goes for any other any of the other instruments from audio modeling. You would think that these presets perhaps would go for like uh, the horns perhaps or any of the strings. It's, it's not like it's not uh, possible to import these. It's exactly the same structure. But if I import these, in some cases, all the information doesn't uh, come with so I won't be going over this for now until that is fixed or until I at least get to hear that they're not gonna fix it. In the case with the horns there must be a particular uh, setting done as well to call a pitch bend curve that doesn't exist in the in the woodwinds instrument set. If I want to do something for the for the horns, that has to be a new preset altogether, working only for the horns. I might do that, but then again, that's somewhere in the future, I think. Obviously, I would like to have a one set of uh, presets that works for everything, but it doesn't seem to be possible at this time anyway, so I'm going to wait with this uh, super patch uh, preset folder till later. So you'll get this to work with to begin with. I think there's more than enough to work with here and uh, uh, thanks.